MTDCNC are at Napier Turbochargers today and we are going to find out why Napier chose to invest in not one but two Grob machine tools. Now I'm with Matt who's going to tell us why and this actual video has got a little bit of a twist so make sure you watch it until the very end. Now Matt, you've made a massive investment into two uh, Grob machine tools, the G350T and the G550T, yep. fifth axis machine tools with turning capabilities. What were your considerations when choosing these machine tools? So our, our, our greatest um, driver was uh, sag time reduction, so improved flow, increased efficiency, that sort of thing, and also a reduced lead time, which is uh, a, massive, a massive driving factor for Napier. They had to be quick, they had to be efficient, but they also had to be able to maintain the micro level accuracy that we uh, we chase here. So ultimately reducing cost per part, is exactly. that safe to say? Yes, yeah, exactly. So now let's talk about some of the components that you're manufacturing. You know, let's start with the impeller. Currently we uh, we machine them in nine operations with uh, current equipment prior to the grubs coming in. We've managed to reduce that down to six for a course of amalgamating ops and actually just been able to remove ops due to setup reduction and, and that sort of stuff. So aluminium 2618A, fairly standard aluminium, a mixture of milling and turning ops to take it from a raw forge into a finished impeller. So obviously we'd like to do it in less. Material restrictions such as movement mean that we have to rough things out, let it move and then um, finish it up to tie everything back together to, to hit drawing. And, and this is a process that's been developed for years and years and years. To get it down from nine to six is, is, is no mean feat. No, no, it's a considerable achievement to be honest. Now you've mentioned turning uh, capability. You've got a fifth axis machine, but with turning capability, yep. these impellers require, require turning. How much of a game changer has that been for you? Massive flexibility improvement. The current equipment, obviously using standalone milling machines and standalone CNC lathes. Um, the, the difference between those two are, are second to none. So being able to do them both on one machine, reducing setup time, that sort of stuff is, is amazing really. And the fifth axis simultaneous milling capability, you know, how are you finding this? Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. We, um, we obviously have, have quite solid limitations with uh, how we can do it and the rigidity of the machine and the spindle is, is second to none really. What, what creates that rigidity in your opinion? Uh, I think a just a solid, a solid base of the machine and a really solid spindle really. And the, t the, the tunnel construction as yeah, well? Yeah, it's, it it's, it's really good, really, really good. Now Matt, you actually program this machine as well? I do, yeah. yeah. And how do you find the programming? We've moved away to a different software uh, provider so throughout this project we've sort of come to terms with new new software, new process cycles. So yeah, it's been a bit of a steep learning curve, but the programming is, yeah, we're getting there definitely. Now, now this is the, the little bit of the surprise to this interview really. What is your position at Napier? So I'm a fourth year technical apprentice um, on my last year now. So halfway through a university degree, so yeah. Um, well, massive congratulations to you there, Matt. Thanks. I mean, I, I've, I've never met an apprentice as knowledgeable <laughs> as, as you to date. Now, thank you. The, the, the expertise that you're showing so far is, is, is amazing, and uh, thank you very much for this interview. No, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time.